it's not like you see um, Game & Watch all that often. Like we have, um, I have he heard of one another uh, Game & Watch in the European era. That, uh, that's like um, Sai, Sai, I think. That's like the only relevant Game & Watch, okay. I think. In the Netherlands, I think, if I'm okay. not mistaken. So you don't okay, see that. Oh, we have Roy, actually. Roy and versus yeah, Pac-Man. Yeah, well, we're, we're actually jumping into Roy. Well, I said Sonic and Luigi main, I think, but he definitely has some uh, Swords, Swords characters for the for counter picks and that stuff like he, he doesn't feel confident he just jumps the warrior and, okay and he, he just likes to get the beefy hits in luigi in uh in this kind of ca characters and roy fits him very well yeah both characters matter. both characters have the unique trait that if they both get in they do uh, a lot a lot of damage exactly, like, roy like last cannon yeah stuff. really explosive all right and now we have a 74 53 the beginning of the game was looking very rough for tlc i'm not gonna lie but uh, he wa he managed to actually connect a nice string, and now he's back to rather evenish. Now that I say it, actually Funky goes on a rampage and, oh yeah. and puts 50% uh, on deal sits. Very nice forward smash into the hydrants as well, Been able to uh, pu uh, push his opponent outside. Like, do you happen to know if they play a lot? Because if not, uh, I can see uh, Dice is struggling a bit against a character like Pac-Man, who's really uh, um, unorthodox, you know. Oh yeah, well, he's uh, they are definitely not grind partners, like, uh, but they have met in quite a few tournament sets, and that's the thing. Every time they play, it's 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 very close, and it comes up to the last gimmick, you know, last hit gimmick, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So, we'll see. okay, uh, Deal City is gonna have some struggle with Pac-Man for sure. Everybody does, and. More than that, yeah. More than that, Funky is a very gimmicky player as, as himself. That's he just goes okay. for all the crazy stuff. Just all very surprising. Not even, not, not even very, you know, optimizing that kind of stuff, but just gonna go for a crazy hydrant thing into up smash. And it's yeah. gonna work. It's gonna work every time. What I see Funky doing a lot is like throwing the hydrant into a uh, quick nair afterwards, like uh, almost all the time. So maybe uh, Dicey will uh, understand that and maybe adapt to that. That would be nice. Um, because I don't think he actually caught up just yet. Okay. Because like uh, Nair is one of the very quick uh, areas uh, Nair's in the game. I think it's also frame free, so it can act as a combo breaker and a really uh, quick uh, option to stuff someone out. So yeah, uh, Dicey gonna watch for that. Well, definitely, he's gonna have to learn how to deal with it. So far, he's avoiding the the kill setups kind of well because he's like at 180 percent. And okay, exactly. That's what we want to do. Just find another 10, 15 percent. To get into the up throw range, yeah. Though I think uh, I, I'm pretty sure Roy's up throw is a bit weaker than Mars' up throw for some reason. That's definitely true. But, but we have a 170 rage Roy, yeah, so I that's gonna be true. enough in 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 a few percent, maybe even now. Yeah. All right, that's gonna be the oh. edge card. Very nice tech from Funky, actually managing to get back onto the stage, being helped a little bit with that hydrant. But holy the hell! Last of the that grab is OP. Yeah. yeah <laughs> why don't they use it a lot? I have I no idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> This job is amazing. Okay, avoiding the hydrant. Okay. Mm, and that coverage was good as well, covering that uh, fast fall. Let's see, trying to go for the. Um yeah, it's near again. Yeah, he really has to kind of adapt to that. Like, uh, not stand under Pac-Man um, if if uh, Pac-Man is airborne, because most likely there's a hydrant dropping. Okay, nice with the backer, like a nice, nice one. Yeah, uh, yeah, Roy, yeah. one of the characters with a really powerful backer. I, I completely agree with you on the Nair, though. Uh, it seems that it's not only a combo breaker, but also a combo starter that uh, has been hard on Dylan's percent since the beginning of the game. We see a 60% deficit, a 30%, that's definitely just the Nair stuff. Like, you, you actually manage to balance that out, he's back to an even game. Yeah. And he actually stops a lot of approaches and makes his uh, own advantage game cleaner. So he has to focus on this kind of stuff and, and make it cleaner. Yeah. What I'd like to see from uh, Dicey a bit more oh. is... Oh, oh that's going to be it. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Just a funny mistake. Mistake. Oh. Okay. Uh, what I'd like to see for, uh, from Dicey in the next match is maybe try to... Um, since he doesn't appear to know the matchup too well, I think it would be a uh, good advice for him to actually uh, hold shield a bit more. Because Agreed. Pac-Man doesn't seem to be a character that can apply a lot of shield pressure all the time. Oh, the screen's dead. The screen's dead! Oh, okay, we're back. We're back. We're good. Real life. I, 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 I completely agree with you on that one, but I think that's part of knowing the Pac-Man matchup. Yeah, I guess. Like uh, you have to just think a little bit about it. And even though <laughs> that grab looks scary, it's uh, it's actually very slow, and, and you can uh, abuse it. Abuse the fact that Pac-Man won't have any other tool than RP to break your shield and to win in a neutral situation if you shield. Yeah, that's so true. So you start out with that assumption, and then you build up and deal it. Doesn't seem to start from that one. Yeah. You know, he, he's standing from 
Another place try to really stuff out that Pac-Man that's just running around every everywhere. Who just yeah. wants to throw that sword around? And uh, so far, it's hurting him a lot. Yeah, but the good thing is, um, I believe all the pool matches are also um, best of fives. I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So he still has two games to toy with in order to like find a solution for this um, yeah. Pac-Man. Yeah, definitely. Well, like Hopefully, hopefully he does. Yeah. I would love to see at least more games and, and to see how he adapts. I know he's an amazing player when he gets into advantage state, but so far he hadn't got a grasp, a, a grasp on how to stuff out that Pac-Man, how to corner the Pac-Man and not, not let him uh, go back in and anyway push the advantage state more yeah. in general. All right, and what back to that game. Second game on Final Destination. I'll tell you again that uh, pools games are best of five, which is amazing. Thank you very much to the TOs for that. Yeah, he's. Mm. I, I believe he's throwing a lot of landing aerials, which is something you shouldn't be able to do too much as Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man Pac definitely not. I don't think the landing lag is too great or uh, too too good for Pac-Man here. So, a uh, fast character like Roy should be able to uh, punish it a lot of times. Mm. Like with an excellent tool like Side B, even though it's not as good as Marth's and Lucina Side B, it can still serve as a good punish tool. It is. All right, try to f uh, to understand how he's gonna roll, but uh, Funky smartly using the fruits charge in order to avoid the tech situation, and now back into advantage states. Using that uh, using that tool very well. That was at least a 35% from that fruit. Yep. That's I mean, fruit that does a lot of damage. <laughs> is that even a fruit? I don't even know what it is. It, it seems to be some flying thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> but it does like no nine damage per hit, and it, it can combo in so much stuff. And mm. Someone like Roy will take a lot of damage. Uh, you s also see uh, Funky approaching, uh, using fair quite a bit on shield uh, in order to uh, poke the shield. Maybe uh, Dicey can maybe expect it the next time and counter with a, a retreating fair or bear. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Or just straight up up smash if yeah. he's feeling confident that yeah. stuff. Yeah. But like up smash right now is gonna seal the deal. That's for sure. Point. That's for sure. And I don't think Pac-Man actually has a quick punish. I mean, he's definitely gonna be able to to punish an up smash from Roy, right? Yeah. But. but you can actually afford. Oh, Ooh, okay. actually leaving that one. I, wa I was about to say you can yes, afford. So oh, <laughs> that, uh, that grab is amazing. Yeah. That grab. I don't know why the, these guys don't use it more. Such an I amazing mean. taunt, man. <laughs> <laughs> and all right, all right. Yeah, what I was, what I was saying is that Pac-Man is gonna profit from touching the opponent, but not much from punishing uh, with with stuff. Like he's not that good, great at pu uh, uh, punishing with stuff, right? So you can actually afford throwing some risky stuff around and getting away with it. Mm. At least not dying from it, right? Still, uh, Funky actually finding that first stock. 157%, that's gonna be a tough one for this. Boy. Yeah, be be like Roy is really strong, but the thing is, uh, it's funny that he also struggles to kill sometimes. Like, I'm yeah. not even sure if an up throw is gonna kill right now because it's weaker than mouse. And even though he has the strong hits, they're all at the, at the grip of a sword, like at the center. It's called the complete reverse to mouse, so he has to get into the uh, strong hits. Like, you see the also back here, it didn't take the Pac Man anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely not. He's not gonna die from yeah, that one, but that right. strong back here will take it though. That's a 57, yeah, that's a 60% deficit uh, on the second stock already. Like, yeah. just like, this is basically going just like last game. Dilsit not finding clean ways to go in and Funky capitalizing on it very well. And if you give Pac-Man the tools, I mean, if, if you give Pac-Man some room to use his tools, his tools are, are still pretty good, right? Yeah, the only thing is that if you camp Pac-Man out, if you respect his tools, he doesn't have much to... Um, obligate you to, to go in. Yeah. This is his main weakness. But if you give him his tools, that still hurts. That still hurts and it still kills and it's still scary. So, yeah, this kind of stuff you gotta respect, man. Yeah. Though <laughs> I have uh, not, a, not a big clue on the Pac-Man matchup as well, I think oh. what, <laughs> what uh, Dicey should try to do is not allow um, Funky to uh, build up the room in order to uh, throw his uh, fruits, throw his uh, um, fruits, his hydrant, so he can control so much space. He has to, like, to pressure him with uh, with up close combat, like with mid range, with the uh, with the uh, uh, fair near from Roy, maybe down to the pokes. This kind of stuff. I would agree with that one, but I would also agree that oh, nice I, I mean, I would say also that when Pac-Man has something, you gotta leave him all the room he wants. Like you, you gotta respect what he's doing. You know, you really want wants to keep him under pressure, but. When he's in the air and he has that hydrant to actually mix up his uh, landing option and that stuff, you don't want to commit too hard. 
Alright, that up air will actually kill. That's the first time I see Pac-Man's up air kill, but that's gonna be a 204 funky overall deal seat. That's a rough one. Yeah, definitely. It didn't look uh, all that much better. I think it was a bit closer, but uh, it still seemed like uh, Dalsil didn't have really um, didn't have much of an idea how to get in without taking too much damage from yeah. like, the projectiles, and that's a big deal. Like, um, uh, since I don't really know the matchup too well as well, uh, I would probably just try to hold shield and stay n not stay li like right right below Pac-Man where he can hydrant you. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Uh, oh, and now we're seeing the Luigi. Yeah, I, I would agree that you could play conservatively. Something I know Funky does when you, you play like you don't know the matchup is that he's going to use the upbeat out of shield yeah. a lot just so that you stop shielding. That's something you got to adapt to, uh, to as well. That is not that easy to punish if you're not used to it. That's correct. But I don't think I have seen a Funky do the up here, uh, out of shields. No, because he doesn't need to. What he I mean is that yeah. if Dilsit adapts and starts shielding, we're going to see some very easy adaptation coming on from Funky as well. We, we still have some layers to go until Dylan is on top of Funky. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. I see. But I now, one. yeah, now he actually hits Funky and, I mean, he actually got some hits on Pac-Man and we're talking about Luigi hits. So those are beefy enough to give him the advantage, which is good for Dilsit at the moment. Finally in the the lead as well. That's true. Like I wonder how and why Luigi does better here in this case because um, Luigi is a character that's uh, kind of slow, also slow, really slow in the air. So Roy should have the speed advantage, but he still manages to land more hits as Luigi. I really wonder uh, as to why this is. I, I would say it's because Dylan just has this kind of mindset. Uh, but Dylan actually, yeah, yeah, that's what what I was saying. No jump left, and uh, I'm not sure he's actually able to mash yeah. fast enough to get back on stage in these kind of scenarios. And that's gonna be his doom for that third game. Funky looking healthy. So I also kind of noticed pa um, Funky mainly choosing the ledge jump um, pair as a get out option. Yeah, uh, as a get of the ledge option. Maybe uh, Dicey will try to punish it this time, hopefully. Still I'm looking for something. Mm. All right. Funky with a standard pressure with that tool. Yeah, oh, oh, and that nice. up smash! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about pressure. Funky actually going for real stuff and trying to, you know, just grab some damage before dying. And Dylan having none of it, just like that, feeling confident, uh, getting the grabs, getting the up smashes. I'm pretty sure Funky was trying to um, do fair and air again or something like that. Mm. And fair and air sounds like something Dilsit wants to find as well. Unfortunately, uh, getting combo broken. And yeah, another nail, no, another nail landing. That could have been a grab if that was played well. Okay. But that force match is gonna yep. take it as well. Very well done from Funky. Taking it 3-0 over Dream Team DLC. A pretty convincing win too, like. Yeah, really. give it to him. He knows yeah, his yep. man. Ah, uh, yes, that looked rough. Uh, that second game, I mean, third game, looked much more healthy for uh, Dilsit. At the beginning, very. At, at the beginning, least. yeah. But then he showed that, you know, he just liked that recovery option that is so important to have as Luigi. Yep. And yeah, that w that's a stock. That's a stock. That's why you don't play Luigi if you don't mash. Yeah, like the mashing aspect is so important. It's it's uh, it's really important for gimping. It's also really important for making it uh, to match in situations where you can't without a downbeat. Exactly. Like Ma makes well makes it so that you can actually go back on stage if you can't and makes it much safer to get back on stage without using that second stop that is so vital as yep, well. That's true. So, well, that was the first talk and the second stop just flew by. That's the first time he actually gets hit by uh, an item, which I'm not surprised since he, he's Luigi, he's not as fast anymore, so he's uh, going in, he's gonna get hit by many, much more stuff from Pac-Man and that's the first item he gets hit by that, we actually lead to a kill. Mm -hmm. uh, props to him for dodging all the rest of those, I guess. But still, that's gonna be his doom. 3-0, uh, solid, solid game from Funky. That will get him, I think, his first seed in the, in the pool. Congratulations. Oh uh, yeah, I might, I'm most not likely. sure. Uh, most likely, yeah, I'm not sure most how he performed in the other games. Oh, in, that, in this direction. Yeah, sorry about like that. Like the left one. Okay. Right, see, and do you know, do you know about these players? So, okay, we're supposed to watch. Them. Yes, yes, yes. Still on the setup of the stream. What a neat setup, by the way. You guys can't really see it very well on the stream. It kind of, uh, it actually looks uh, grim on the stream. It looks like a, 
a cheap kind of scene, you know, we're, we're seeing some cables out there, but what you're not seeing is that people in the venue are on sofas, watching That's a true. big screen, like I and everything looks very nice, like every, 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 everything, uh, every stuff from Hardwood is very professional and looks very neat. Thank you very much to Hardwood CH for the amazing stream, as always. Uh, we're gonna have to thank Danger Noodle for organizing this tournament as well. Yeah. I am very glad something like this happened in Switzerland. To say a, a nice farewell to Smash 4 as well. We, we had such an amazing time with that game. Again, a very much, uh, at this point myself, hate-love relationship with that game. Yeah, but still, four amazing years of my life. So I would very much like to uh, give him the, the, the nicest goodbyes. Yeah, I think it was a really good time. Though there are people, myself included, who think that uh, maybe we spent, spent a bit too little time with it because I think there's still stuff that can be discovered but with ultimate dropping there no one cares I guess so yeah ultimate's gonna be nice yeah that, that's the least you can say definitely <laughs> ultimate really is gonna nice. be nice I'm expect everybody's expecting it and but for the moment for the moment we're going in with Saint Thief against Dragon. Dragon is a, a gem player as well right Dragon, uh, I don't think he is I actually no? don't think he is no or may maybe he's a Finnish or at, le at, at least some uh, Nordic uh, country like a yeah, like I've never heard of his name, sadly. Enjoy me yet. All right, but that, that's going to be an interesting one. I, I know Saint Thief has been grinding a lot for this kind of tournaments. Uh, he's one of the new-ish players, you know, that, but that I grinded see. very hard, very fast. So uh, we can actually expect uh, from him some crisp gameplay. And I'm very interested in seeing what Regon is going to pull off. We have actually two great Falcos from Europe at this tournament. We have Undragon coming out of retirement just for Exodus, which is exciting as well. Okay. And we have a uh, few backers. We were talking about Falco. We, we cannot not talk about... Uh, we cannot not talk. Rip English. Rip English. Rip English. Happens, man. Happens. Yeah, but uh, we cannot not talk about... Uh, Falco's frame forward back air, <laughs> killing so mad early on a character as Sheik as well, so light. But we can, what we can talk about is the fact that the matchup is a um, kind of interesting one in the sense that both have a pretty good frame data. So I believe Sheik is a slightly better, but the thing is, Falco does a lot more damage, but Sheik has a really much better time gimping Falco off stage than Falco has gimping Sheik off stage. So it's a really, uh, so it's really interesting how the punishing game is gonna play out. Oh, the punish gun is gonna be interesting, oh but oh I, my I God, actually almost killed, man. I agree. That was surprising. He's, he's dead already. Oh, oh, damn. Jesus that's forward there with okay. rage. Hits so hard. You know, the base knockback with some rage. Very, very scary. That forward is really tasty. Uh, mm. It also got buffed a lot, I, I believe, in Smash 4 because it used to be kind of bad with the hits not connecting, but now yeah. you see, like, the destructive power, especially if you consider rage. Oh, definitely. That's, uh, if you ask me, that's still not Fox's forward there. Since instead of actually having it not connecting, um, being completely changed, they actually made it connect, which is nice. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> good. That's, thank you. Thank you but for <laughs> the thank, you, thank you for that. But, 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 Falco, in some very specific matchups, his forward air is very scary. Like, you can actually use it to edge guard or for this kind of stuff. And oh, we're actually seeing a, a jab lock, a, a reset from Dragon, not finding a lot of damage from that one, but that's still a 34% lead, 43% lead now, unanswered. But to be honest, like the like 57% are already almost half half halfway for Sheik because Sheik like dies at, at, at it feels like Sheik dies at 70 sometimes. So mm. he's almost there. Falco not being too light as well, but I think Sheik is still a, a, a character that. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. All right, such a nice uh, advantage state from Saint Thief. Actually, finding 60% as well. I would completely agree that 80% looks yes, that's scream that's already. already. Yep. Yep. That's yep. 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 Very nice jump You're from right. Dragon finding that first stock. Frame for Becca, man. Too good. Too good. And that perfect throw down to him as well. Sweet stuff from Vegan actually showing off. Like something I've noticed, like she cannot jab one, jab two. And like what I what I find interesting is that she cannot jab one, jab two into mix up because Falco can just jab jab uh, right away afterwards. Well that's true, that's true, definitely. I would like to answer your point uh, at the beginning as well as well. You were talking about frame data and you Oh scary stuff yeah, from Saint Thief as well. Ooh, but 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 oh the answer God. from Dragon actually he getting actually him the kill and actually got the food still this respect as well. Oh Jesus Christ. Please don't do my Switzerland Swiss boys like that. Don't come it. from another country to actually do my boys like that. He was, grinding. Cool, he was grinding, man. You can't do that. Jeez, man. Uh, but, uh, did you want to answer? Like oh, yeah, I was talking about frame data. And mm -hmm. I would agree that Falco has some rather good-ish frame data. Uh, as in, his moves come out very fast. But the thing is that they are much, much... Sheik's uh, moves are much, much safer. She can actually true. abuse those and 
always be safe. Just throw that forward air around. If you get hit by that forward air, you're gonna get hit by a lot more coming out. But as Falco, you gotta commit to this kind of stuff. Like they, uh, they for example, jab sounds neat. Yeah. But you're gonna have the, the, that that uh, that spinning animation at the end. That's gonna for, for example, and that is not as reliable as she either. So a lot of these ground games are gonna be awful. But the good thing so far is that Dragon is finding the 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 starting hits, and then he can actually abuse his good fame data through combos, right? Just that's through right. combos all the time. But if we're back to a very much more grounded game, and same thief is able to you know, stay in neutral a little bit more and stay safer. That's gonna be a harsh one for for, for Dragon. Definitely. Okay. All right, and jab exchanges leading to a grab from Dragon, which was interesting. Ooh. Oh, that was a soft. Uh, this was a soft spot back there, like it would have killed with a uh, sweet spot. And we've also seen Sheik like uh, fair stringing uh, send, um, Dragon, but the thing is, Sheik doesn't do really that much Ooh, damage. Oh, and that back here oh, into okay. bouncing fish. That's the thing he actually tried to do in the last game as well, but didn't connect. This time connected perfectly and. Giving Saint Thief his first lead of the set. There, there we seen the potential gimping ability uh, that she has versus Falco. Like uh, Falco can just drop to a. Oh, downbeat. and yeah, that misclick will lead into a kill though. Ah, okay. Oh, Very nice going yeah. on. He, I think he tried to drag down there the nair, but got the uh, nair instead. Mm. Suck. That's the kind of stuff you you cannot really do against. Uh, too fast. Cut, yeah, well, it was just too fast. I think the Nair is like frame 4 too. From Sheik. Okay. Oh, 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 Mob Spaghetti's. That was a really interesting hitbox from the up okay. Yeah, that was interesting. It's an ex interesting exchange off stage. Nobody finding a clean way to actually edge guard his opponents. Unfortunately for both players. Now we sti we're still in a advantage uh, situation. That's also leading into nothing, but that looked fancy. I like it. Yeah, I, I, I'm all for this useless fancy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean. But they're in a tournament right now. Oh, Ooh. and that wall jump forward and not gonna take it just Drop yet. But again, Ooh. we're going for fancy. Ooh. Oh, and that downer actually catching Such that two frame. Was it even the two frame? I don't know. No, it was not, but it was it really wa precise uh, timing. Yeah, it, it was still a sexy meteor, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. Holy hell, Drigan actually uh, finding a 3 0 on Thief. Very nice showing. Convincing, too. Very like convincing. Like definitely, definitely. Against a character like Sheep, like, I don't think Falco does too hot in this matchup, but like. Dragon said, nah, tears low. I mean, <laughs> it was even his tag, so we can see what he means. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, and that's Impressive. the thing, Falco, well, it's not that great of a character because lag and this kind of stuff, but if you let him hit, this kind of thing is still very good. Yeah, his advantage like, state is yeah, pretty His scary. advantage state is amazing. So, uh, playing as Sheik, as a light character, fast follow, you, you cannot really afford this kind of stuff. No. You get hit by Falco, you're gonna die at 80 from me back uh, from anywhere in the map, so yep. that's exactly what we saw. Same thief, um, Shuda might want to work on the matchup a little bit, just not to get hit by these combo starters. You yeah, know, just respect them. But, uh, because like Falco is um, a character, host neutral, host neutral is not too good. I think I, I think he has like down tilt. Let's like one is with pretty decent poking tools, but it has a uh, little range. So if I were Sheik, I'd probably just try to needle a lot until the Falco thinks like um, a reflector is a good idea, but. The things that matchup is already gone, and I believe I've heard my name somewhere, because like pool uh, B is starting, I think. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play or not. I would like some confirmation. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna have to play the wave two as well. But I believe we're gonna have a last game on stream, and then we're we're gonna go uh, directly okay. to the fair enough fair to enough. our pool. So now, who are we? Who do we have sitting here? I believe it's a Pikachu player. I'm not sure though. I could be sorry. I'm interested in seeing that one, but that looks like a Swiss clash. Like we finally have the only Swiss game on that stream. And if those players are who I think they are, those are uh, Ryuzaki versus Babos Gaming Agrofox. Mm, okay. That's gonna be an explosive gameplay for sure. We, we have a Pikachu versus Fox, oh. which is the most Agro Fox that I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> that's yeah. They, he actually he kind of earns his name really. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing it because in Germany we do have quite a few foxes as well. So oh, I know that. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, every know? time I go, like, I have like three foxes in my pool. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, <laughs> what the, f <laughs> what what the, the hell is that? Yeah, man, don't ask me. I, 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 I've had enough, man. Like yeah. uh, foxes <laughs> with his super amazing frame data just comboing me. Like I we have Woozy, we have Fido, we have Peda, we have we yeah. have so many others. So yeah, that's a rough one for Ike main, right? Oh, I guess, but. 
we do what we can, I guess. <laughs> I also kind of, right. I'm also kind of wondering what, um, how many, how many people from different countries are here exactly? I know like we have people from Finland. We have even someone from the Netherlands who's Denki Kang. Uh, oh, really? We have German, German yeah. people. We have people from Greece. From Greece and France. France too, yeah, of course, of course. We France have Omikar well. too. Uh -huh. He's one of the best there. Thank okay. you. And Hedgeon's also a ranked player in, in France. Yes, and I'm talking about Hedgeon. I say it every time this guy can pull off some very nasty upsets. I'm okay. expecting some nasty upsets from Hedgeon. This might definitely be true. And yeah, well, well. Definitely a lot of other uh, foreign players. I'm very excited to see them all competing, really. Yeah. Hopefully, we're going to see some upsets going on. And uh, I'm excited to see how the other scenes, like uh, Finnish scenes or Greek scenes, are going to fare. Uh, it seems that yesterday in the crew battles, they have uh, struggled a little bit against the Swiss players. Okay. But still, we are. Uh, well, the Swiss players we're talking about are those on stream at the moment, going for that third game of Wave A pools Agro Fox versus Ryuzaki. Opening him up. Okay. All right, I go for trying to find an opening, but Ryu is actually will be the one uh, taking both. it. Oh, oh, very nice thunder! Actually, just uh, finding a way to uh, put some damage on his opponents, even though you're on stage, off stage. I mean, I think both character characters can really put the hurt on each other. But I think uh, one of the main things that makes the matchup, I think, is mm. the fact that Pikachu can really destroy a fox off stage. Like it's really, uh, it's really insane. Because like me, yeah. Pikachu is one of the strongest characters off stage, I believe. I would say that, and I would say that Pikachu's combo game is very strong, usually. But on Fox, it's absurd. Yep. Fox is a character. Uh, even though he combos a lot, he gets comboed a lot. He also gets destroyed a lot if he gets touched. To match his uh, insane uh, burst potential, power potential. Oh, oh my god. Okay. People uh, both dancing around each other with aerials. Trying to find the air dodge. Trying to find the up smash on the air dodge. I believe... Uh, uh, not I believe... I think uh, I want to know how consistent Ryuzaki is at the after thunder thing. Because that's one of the really strong Pikachu confirms. I don't think he's... I don't think he's uh, that real... I mean... Uh, okay. Consistent in the uh, follow-up. Momentum follow-up. Mm, okay. You know, you, you can do the very easy one where you just up throw and then thunder and if the other one gets caught in by surprise then you, you're gonna free kill right mm. but you're gonna be frame perfect to make the momentum uh, chase yeah uh, it's not as easy as it is I don't think Ryazaki is able to do that so gonna see gonna watch uh, how, how he's gonna get that kill as well I'll go for finding a nice up on that platform finding the early leads yeah. and a 48 percent lead with oh. That. oh, and that yeah. almost was yeah, oh, actually in a different direction. Okay, uh huh. That yeah. was very uh, nice presence of mind. He actually waited to go on the other side of Agro Fox, Fox, to there just yeah. so to make sure he uh, he gets a kill from that one. I wouldn't have seen that one coming to be honest. Me neither. I also thought it was uh, uh, Agro Fox was about to lock him uh, on the platform. But yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah, that would have been death too. I think that was just too much damage for uh, Sweet Spot there. That's yeah. what happens. Uh, we don't see um, Yuzaki really trying to go off stage there. Ah, yes, yeah, okay. mm. Oh, and the taunts, obviously, that obviously. That was a second taunt already. Okay. Second taunt already. He did the taunt once after oh after he took oh the yeah. first uh, stock from okay. Yuzaki. Yeah, that's a classic Swiss uh, Swiss thing. Let's go. We, we, we just know each other very well. Don't don't think it's a mean thing or anything. We just goofing around uh, against each other. It's just because we love each other very much. Yeah. People just don't. Please don't think taunts are bad. It's not just they're in the game for a reason. They're not there to insult your person or something like that. So. <laughs> I would, say, I would say that you can actually use them as a nasty strategy. You can? You can, you can, and, and that's fine. Yeah, and you can definitely hate somebody for that, I would say. But in these kind of cases, it's very much just a friendship thing. You just, you just know each other. You're gonna up throw up tilt for days. I mean, you if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna taunt you. You see what I mean? Just yeah. Oh man, the up tilt they don't end. <laughs> they, never, they never end this kind of matchup. Okay, <laughs> up tilt from the other side now. <laughs> that doesn't work, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna see a lot of them, but at 0% it's gonna be harder for Fox to actually find these combo starts to do these nice combo vortex combos, we call them. Yeah. Okay, now we have two options, we uh -huh. can actually go for those. Yeah, okay, after the jump, that's pretty good. That's a thing, Pikachu Ooh. really doesn't have to figure out figure this out that well. Have you seen that? Uh, where Pikachu, uh, where Ryuzaki was up being and uh, Agrofox hit him with the up even though Pikachu was way below the ledge. That's because Pikachu's hurt box extends so much when he, when Pikachu up beats. It's like really funny. Mm, that's actually ridiculous sometimes. It looks ridiculous sometimes. Yeah. 
So dash attack into not pass, still not in uh, kill percentage. Never mind, actually Almost making me eat my words. That dash attack, it, what, was it dash attack? No, up tilt. There was, an up tilt up there. there was a really weird hitbox on the up tilt because it didn't send as far as it should have. Oh, and that forward edge of Fuso is gonna take it. God. What a good stock from Agro Fox. Uh, Hot game. I know this guy would have taunted if he was on stage. Yeah, That's but he didn't have time. only regrets in that one. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have time to, to do that. But yeah, um, ah, the thing is, like we've seen so far that the uh, that Agrofox managed to edge guard Rizaki more than Rizaki managed to edge guard Agrofox, which should be actually the reverse. Because that's not good. That's Agreed. not good. That's not good. That's not good at be all. Because all I have seen from Agri uh, Rizaki so far is trying to stay at the ledge and then jab the side B from Agrofox, which clearly did not work so far. You so can actually get a forward smash, which he attempted as well. He did get too. Yeah. Okay. But so but that's still a very how do you say it? Um, Timing reliant setup. You know, you can yep. actually go for something uh, easier to hit uh, that would take mo more time to kill Fox, but it's still very effective. Yeah. I mean, that puts him in a situation where he will be killed easily, which is offstage. Mm. Ah. Yeah. All right. Ah, nice coverage with that dash attack from Agro Fox. Such a good tool. Frame 4, man, and uh, j just he zips through you and then just punishes you. Okay, didn't react in time. Mm, yep. Oh. I wouldn't have reacted either. It looks like Agro Fox was about to snap the edge. But nope, actually went through, taking the damage, taking the mistake control, taking everything from Hiyozaki. Ooh, okay, that's a mess. Okay, he, did, he dropped the adventure state, sadly. Oh, he tried to jab lock here and then go for a smash, I think. Yeah, oh. I think that's what happened, but uh, Agrofox DI'd out, allowing him to survive that one, and finding a nice up tilt into back air, which is not gonna kill just yet, but uh, we are close to that, we are very close to that. I think there was a second time Ryuzaki um, used lateral as an option in a row. It's 2-0, oh, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's 2-0. It is 2-0, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's Reaver. Oh la la. All right, Oof, that's gonna that be a neutral line to not yep. smash for sure. And the taunt, yeah, that's that's the true combo, right? Yeah, that's a true combo. But taunt to get body is uh, sometimes a true combo as well, so let's see what happens I, here. I would love to see that. Yeah, that'd be funny. And more Ooh, games. Ah, okay. That's a forward smash. Is he, is he gonna... Ah, Rizaki not taunting because nope. he knows of the taunt to get body combo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might be that or trying to get to be on the next level Yomi's on taunts. Ah, I see. You're like, you're taunting because you want to get into my head, but I'm not answer I'm sorry, to I will not answer your so like taunt. I'm into <laughs> your head. I'm not playing your game, you see. You will but play my game. Okay. But actually that's for that drag down with oh. a nice chase. Like once Fox hits you, it seems like it's never go ne never ending. He gets so many hits off of one hit sometimes. Agreed. And something mm. that is very scary is that those hits hurt so much. I, I think about Opus. Yeah. I think Pikachu has to watch. Um, like, okay. yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for sure. Yeah, Rizaki doesn't have to watch anything anymore because he's dead. But I wanted to <laughs> say like um, he, he should have watched like the approaching dares or nares because he I think Agrofox would uh, would have tried that to get uh, like soft nair into up smash or something. But it doesn't matter anymore because he's dead. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we try to warn you, man. We're trying to warn you, but well, very solid gameplay against uh, from Agro Fox the winning solidly. The definitely not, strong. definitely not the sickest fox in, in in Switzerland just yet. But I mean, he's he's getting there. Uh, yeah. Very nice grind, and well, something I would have expected Ryuzaki like a little bit more. I know he can play very defensively, which makes it that I guess a player like Agro Fox who can actually abuse. Uh, bad approaches a lot. Mm. We were talking about the fact that uh, Optils makes it so much easier. Short break. Um, short break. Um, then we start with the wave okay, okay, interesting. Well, we were theorizing around the uh, Pikachu and Fox matchup, but we, it seems that we're going to have a short break and then we're going to have uh, wave two right away. Thank you very much for following us for that first wave. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I'm going to have to play near Same. two, so uh, most likely we'll see each other, but on stage this time. Have a nice one and see you later. Yep, stay tuned.
Welcome back to wave two of pools here at Exodus. Um, anything to say or are we gonna start? I'm really looking forward to the sets that we are gonna see this time. There are definitely some good players, some good sets coming up. We are excited of course. Next to me, Silent Kepler, one of Switzerland's top guys. And BG Agrofox, the sickest dude in Smash in Switzerland. That's my man. Yeah. Um, we're gonna start off with a match you're, you probably have more to say about than me because we're gonna see Bayo from Koji oh, who is yeah. um, currently living in Zurich but uh -huh. com coming from Norway. Is that okay. And Sorry. against Frozen, a yes. player who has been playing for a long time as mm -hmm. far as I know, um, but not as active recently. Playing yeah. probably Luigi. He will probably play Luigi against Bayo. I know Luigi. he doesn't really like the matchup, even though it isn't that bad for Luigi per se. Um, I don't know about Koji's opinion on the matchup, but I can feel he's always confident when he goes into a set. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna start in just a second. I'm just gonna take a peek what's what their starter stage is. Okay, we are going to Battlefield, I think. They agreed on Battlefield. Yep, Battlefield. <laughs> Battlefield definitely a very, very strong stage for Bayonetta because of her normal combos. Yes. Usually her um, special combos don't do as much damage, but they just carry you wherever she wants you. But the normal com combos, those are the combos that do 50, 60 or even more damage. And already we see Koji trying to uh, jump around the fireballs of Luigi, trying to get an opening, trying to bait Luigi into going in, but Luigi manages actually to get a hit and now keeps Koji on the ledge. And yeah, we saw Koji, I think he tried to just zone a bit with Nair, get the percent advantage a little bit, but uh, Frozen just having none of it, just getting the lead and now 80%, that's a big lead, not really for Bayo, but if you are playing defensively and trying to, to really keep the lead, as long as you don't lose the stock, that is a big lead. Yes, and Frozen, you can see, he's really successful right now at, at, at edge guarding and Bayonetta and at keeping her at the edge. But he messed up, dying at 30%. Unfortunate. That's exactly what I meant, if you don't lose your stock. And yeah, he wanted to get the down B, he got it. But of course, Bayo has the tools to get back. And I think he wanted to complete the edge guard, but he mm -hmm. wasn't sure what, what to do and got punished for it. Yes, I think... Because Frozen was that successful at, sh at uh, ledge trapping Bayo, he should have just kept there maybe after getting the Cyclone, but I guess he wanted to finish it. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's something that happens a lot when you, mm -hmm. like, you're there and you know you could do it, but you don't know exactly what to do and then you kind of get a mental blockade and just do nothing and then you get punished. And of course after having such a big lead, being down a stock is heavy and Koji now playing to his lead. Just 160%, but as long as the stop's still there, Bayo is still dangerous. <laughs> yes, and now Koji. Oh, he tries to witch time Luigi quite a lot, but Luigi going for grabs will not get witch timed as easily. Of course, Luigi, one of those characters that um, doesn't have to rely on his aerials or normal moves that can get witch time as he has a very very potent grab it's one of the best dash grabs in the game and one of the highest rewards off of grab mm -hmm. yes indeed all right koji going for the double jump up there but missing it back air only the sour spot connects he will not kill yet oh and, and he clips start. the jump yes yep. that's it oh he gets the misfire frozen all right. <laughs> just saying i'm going out in style by my own conditions mm. and yeah that's the first game started off yes. very very strong for yes. Frozen yes and then he lost that stock and after that it was kind like of he lost all momentum. gone yeah I feel like he all lost gone. momentum there yes um I mean that's very understandable you play very well get a huge lead honestly 80 percent that's KO percent against Bayo for Luigi with, mm. with his potent up smash or like mm. down throw and mm. then a chase with down B something like that maybe even back air and then you just lose it all because of one little mistake Right, going back to Battlefield again. Game two. It's 1-0 for Koji. Oh. I think that was a missing put. 
the forward tilt after that down throw. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know, up tilt, forward air, going for forward air strings, but missing the follow up on the up B. You probably know when it's a missing push. I mean, you know yeah, Bayo's shit. Oh, what? Yeah, but I, I'm, not, I'm not swearing ever. Alright, Luigi gone quite, for quite, a, quite some dash attacks. I don't know if they're missing puts or he tries to go for some crazy neutral shenanigans. Anyways. They have to be missing puts because Luigi's dash attack is so bad and the reward off of it is just nothing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do a lot of percent. Mm -hmm. Maybe Frozen is just on another level and we don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, percent still even. 100% on Frozen, that's about as dangerous as it always is against Bayo, but 80 on Bayo against um, uh, Luigi with Rage now, that's a little oh, more dangerous, that's, never that's mind. It. Yes. Good Witch time. Getting it, killing Luigi at post 100%. Of course, Witch time D kill confirm. <laughs> yeah, it makes it very easy for Bayo to get kills if you hit the Witch time, but also very easy for your opponent to get uh, the openings on Bayo if she exactly. gets too Witch time friendly. All right, now we see Koji trying to stay on the platforms, avoid a grab. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing he did in game one, just don't get hit, basically. You don't have to do percent, mm -hmm. you don't have to hit him, but he also can't hit yeah, you. Yeah, and I really like Koji's movement on the platforms, abusing also the fact that Luigi cannot, uh, does not have a really good air mobility, but gets the witch time. Oh, oh misses the follow-up. Yeah. Did he fall he out of the witch twist into the wrong direction, no, or did no, Koji no. just Koji didn't saw realize. Um, Frozen going behind her witch twist, and that means that he thought uh, that Frozen would get hit by the single hit witch twist. Okay. But Frozen didn't get hit, he, get, he got hit at the end by the launching hit, and thus um, Koji wasn't able to react after that. All right. And he's high up now. Ooh, ooh, oh, that that could have been, been an up B. Yes, that could have been an up B, up smash even. A bit of safer option. Oh, and I think he wanted to down B there because Bayo was all out of options. Mm, nice but he air. accidentally grabbed the ledge, but never mind, mm. gets the back air. Now 90%, that's a lot. Especially for such a defensive Bayo and such a spacing Bayo as Koji is playing it right now. Yeah. I really like how Koji tries to outspace Luigi's approaching options. Oh, good SDI in by Frozen. Avoiding the up air after the side B. Oh, gets the grab, catches the side B on stage. Ah, but then he drops the follow up. Mm -hmm. Still alive. Alright, this is getting pretty difficult for Frozen there. Alright, but that's good. Punishes the option, the uh, small openings that Bayo leaves him. I don't like the landing aerials. Frozen does always because the little bit of landing leg always leaves him open. But never mind, landing aerial again into the witch time, and that's 2 0 for Koshi. Yes, I and think. That would be an upset, actually. I think witch time's the move of this game. Three times, three openings, three strong punishes. Yeah, Koshi is. Um, he plays at my weekly, and mm. he's. Either everyone is bad or he's just good at hitting witch times because he gets them very, very consistently. Yeah, well, I do think he missed quite a lot of witch times in the in the first game. Um, I think that has to do with Frozen being a really patient, yep. but maybe he lost a bit of comp a little bit composure in the after the first game after he went so bad after he has deed, and they quit. Okay, we're not <laughs> going to battlefield anymore. Frozen's had enough. He's trying something else. I don't know. But we'll I think see. it's going to be hard for him to make a comeback because we saw him in game one start so potent and then he just fell off. Yes. After that SD, he just mm -hmm. lost the momentum, lost yeah. his confidence and Koji gained his. I definitely feel like Frozen can win the set. Uh, of course, if he I plays mean. the way he played game one exactly. first stock, but that SD, I feel like it hit him hard. He just tries to go for a lot of moves, trying less to bait Bayo into leaving him op an opening and tries more to force openings. That's at least what I feel like. Well, we're going to a new stage, maybe new um, composure for him, kind of new, renewed mindset. Down in City, trying to get some up smashes maybe, early kills, but also a very double-edged sword because Bayo, um, of course, infamous for her combos to get you up. That was a beautiful combo, didn't get the second back air there. Again, I have to emphasize how I like that Koji tries to uh, space in Bayonetta around Luigi's moves and he tries to avoid the grab and bait Luigi into trying to get in so he can get a punish. And it definitely works because Frozen does try to get 
strong openings there. No double jump off stage. Goes for the side B. Are we gonna see the mesh of his lifetime? Oh, oh he, he had, had a double, double jump. jump! Nice, nice. I was 100% yes. sure I saw him double jump. Uh -huh. That's something that Luigi's mages have, like... They always have their double jump. I don't know how they do it, but they always do. I also really like how it looks like he teleports upwards when he double jumps into an up B. And if Luigi has their double jump, I feel like mm -hmm. it's very um, dangerous. Nice run up up smash, just goes under yes. him, calls out the jump. Um, yes. Because if Luigi has the double jump and then suddenly you commit for an edge guard, but suddenly you're not above of them, mm -hmm. but below them, you don't have too many resources and there comes the down B and you're out. We also saw uh, Luigi taking a stock because Koji has been short topping the whole time to try to fro bait Frozen. Frozen has taken advantage of it and killed Koji there, taking his first stock. All right, pretty even right now. Oh, We're really good some Mario balls. combos. Yes. I really and like now those. that's the same thing as at the beginning of game one. Mm -hmm. Frozen with a big lead, but can he finish it off? Ooh, gets like the. First hit of up smash there, but doesn't quite kill. Another up smash and not the best of the eyes. And, and we are 2 1 and the taunt. Frozen, is he back? <laughs> I don't know. Definitely an improvement from Frozen's side there. 2 1 right now. And yeah, I think that's so big for mindset because mm. it's not just like winning the point, mm -hmm. of course, you're not out yet, mm -hmm. but. It was kind of not dominant, but convincing. I agree. And he got quite a lot of good reads. Um, maybe he can keep the momentum and stay in the head of Koji. All right, Koji going to Dreamland. It seems they both agreed that Koji could take the uh, triplats because he did win the last time on such a stage. Yeah, and also, I mean, it's kind of understandable because mm -hmm. Frozen counterpicked to a triplet in the first, uh, second game, so mm -hmm. it's definitely not his worst stage. Yes. All right, anyways, oh. oh, good bait by Koji. Instead of going for an aerial after a short top, he goes for the landing down tilt. Exactly, that works very well on Luigi because, of course, Luigi is kind of limited by his short range. So what he tries to do is to get a power shield on landing aerials so he can grab afterwards. Oh, oh no, never no, mind, I stock, mixed yeah. up their percentages. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with 39... Uh, sorry. 93%. Other back air, not the best. Ah, sorry, I forgot, totally forgot numbers. Oh, he tries to go for a down B but messes it up. Yo, crazy, how They're both low. Oh, I'm 100% sure he meant to double jump air dodge but missed the double jump. Mm -hmm. But Frozen is not out of this yet, if he can keep his composure again and not go for two oh, is that empty no. setups he, and gets the kill quite f um, quickly, he may still get this and we might get into a game 5, but right now right. Koji is basically in his natural habitat, where yes. he wants to be. Exactly. Good. Good platform play by Koji, staying patient, trying to play around Luigi's strongest neutral options. One thing we have to say here is, of course, Koji. Wow, yeah, that's it. Great read but by Frozen. Yeah. Koji, his origins are Jigglypuff. He's a Puff player. Yeah. Which oh is probably why you see him be so patient and why it's so important for him to just not get hit because, of course, Puff uh, just gets exploded so quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he really has to watch out, and that shows in his Bayo just moving around with aerials. That's true. Be that's staying true. on platform, yes. staying in the air. Mm -hmm. And it works out. Yes, we also see Koji missing the follow-up after the first side B. If he went for a Witch Twist, he might have been able to kill Luigi, actually. Anyways, good afterburn kick into the back air. Yeah, this is getting close for Frozen. Of course, mm. another thing we have to mention here, this match mm -hmm. is kind of important because they are the second and third seed in their pool. Oh, so yes. only one of them yes. is, or probably only one of them, is going to make it out of their pool. Mesh. Double jump, oh, nice. Good air dodge. But he catches him. Was it he a catch Does he have to jump? Oh, still alive. 80%. Definitely on the hunt for an up smash now, Frozen. Mm -hmm. And Koji probably searching for a witch time. Yes. I think what Koji should definitely do is try not to land on top of Luigi because that will be a dead yeah. end zone. Definitely trying to bait Luigi into trying to hit Koji. Good down tilt. Oh, up Ooh. Ooh. Missed it. Is that it? No, it's not. He, he doesn't hit the sweet spot, I think. 
All right. Ooh, trying to witch time it. This is crazy. <gasps> and no! they dies oh! first. <laughs> wow. Ooh, okay. okay. Close right. game. That's Frozen crazy. still in no this. One hundred and fifty-five percent with the clutch. The clutches of Tex. Dude. Still in this Bayo falling just a little bit Co quicker. Kochi could have witch time, then he would have won the set. Kochi could have witch time, stole his momentum, oh. he would have won. He didn't. He didn't stole his momentum. He didn't win. Oh no! As hard as it sounds, <laughs> that's what separates the good players from the top level players. The um, constant awareness. Mm -hmm. What is the one last ditch effort I can do? Yes. The one. Yes. The one percent that makes my chance of winning just a little, mm -hmm. tiny bit mm -hmm. bigger. Right, nice baiting the grab, but doesn't get anything out of the afterburner kick. Luigi messes up his combo there. By the way, Luigi could have also gone, gone for a down B mm -hmm. with a good mash because he got hit. Mm -hmm. And maybe even oh, side B if that stalls. But yeah. Of course, you're on stage. This is basically the match for playing to get out of pools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first match of the day for them. I oh, think. is it? Okay, or yeah. Or first that's, or that's second? That's, yeah, that might very well be possible, yes. And especially for Frozen, I mean, he's at 155%, just got the tech on the bottom of Dreamland. Mm, mm. And now he's tech. up by a lot. Yes. We see Frozen being definitely in control there. This feels like game one right now. Doesn't get anything out of the down throw. Oh, good mix up there by Koji. But Luigi manages to mess to air dodge with the up smash kill. Ooh, oh, he misses it! All right. And that yes, that's actually something I wanted to say right now. Frozen is in control, mm. but so far, when he's been in control, he mm. lost afterwards because he got a little bit too... Oh, mistake. That's not it. That's not it yet, is it? Yes, it is. He should have downbeat. Right. Yes. If he got the craziest of mashes, it might have not been it, but mm. that is mm -hmm. no chance. Then again, that's exactly what I w meant to say. Like, he gets the lead, mm -hmm. and then he dies in a stupid yes. way. Oh, nice back air. All right, we're but even. We're even. Only 3% separating the two. Game five. This is close. Yes, but will oh. we see some strong Bayo combos? Fair, up B, side B. Oh, he this air dodges. Side B. Okay. Oh, but <laughs> not even a sweet spot back there. That's no punch at all. <laughs> Down smash? Never mind. Ooh, we see Koji definitely missing certain crucial follow ups with Bayo. Yeah, I think Again, his witch hands are not up. Yes, but I have to say it's also very difficult to always get the optimal openings and against Luigi too, because Luigi can also nair out of your combos. All right, the up air not killing there. Luigi down throw, up air, forward air, misses it. Oh, gets the re-grab, a frame trap. And yeah, so far, um, this is basically the story of the set. Mm -hmm. Frozen gets the lead, Koji kills him, Frozen mm -hmm. kills him, and then it's so even. Oh, crazy down there, goes for a jab. Oh, Can he find a kill move? No, not yet. And see which time, and now which time is not too strong anymore because he used it quite a bit on this stock. Gets oh a back air, not quite enough. This is getting so close. Yeah, that was a beautiful back air by Koji there, dropping off the platform. And that's an up smash. That's close. Not quite, it's so close. All right, good side. Be up there. Oh! Up there that's it. Great play by Koji. There. Wow. Amazing awareness. Well played. Exodus is hype. Yes, that's, that that's was the very first hype. match. That was match I'm commentating. Yes, yes. Uh, that was so good. Ooh, looking Game forward five. to the next Clutch set. Clutch side B into up air. Mm -hmm. That's crazy too. I think Frozen uh, DI'd up and away on the side B because Koji hit him with the first hit. And usually that one just sends you uh, along the angle of this afterburner kick. But he was able to combo into a double jump up air. So. Definitely also something that Frozen could have done to avoid the follow-up. Again, yeah. it's difficult to be aware of that, of course. For Frozen, of course, that's a heartbreaker. Being down 2-0, coming back into Game 5 after winning the Nailbiter Game 4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, in a last hit situation, he, he, he even got the up smash, but he barely didn't kill. And then he gets side beat on the top platform, and that's it. However, of course, Exodus, big tourney. We are going to have the next set in just a few minutes. Is someone organizing it? I would also keep in Your mind... Your brother has to, sh has to get his shit together. Uh, the TO. TO! Anyways, we have also have to keep in mind that Frozen won oh, two games. Uh, that's still a small win from his part because that means that if there was a, a triangle situation, I think it's called, uh, Frozen would definitely have an advantage winning having won two games in that set.
All right, uh, Agrofox trying to coordinate the sets that will come on stream next. Who will it be? All right, I see Milkomena walking. Is he going to the stage? All right, we have Benji going onto the stage, you playing Fox. Your head, not TO, is back, and um, we're gonna see Arctic Gaming Benji mm -hmm. playing Fox, of course. Mm -hmm. Probably, maybe, the best active Fox right now in Switzerland, because Deep Freeze is not really active yeah, and plays and a lot Smuff of CSS. Also, yeah, well, Smuff well, Smuff is just Smuff, you Smuff know, he doesn't better, count. Smuff has better results. Oh, thanks for showing me the. the that's good, that's good. But what do they write there? Oh, hi, First Bones. Good oh, to see you in watching. chat. Dr. Love. Um, just a second, we need to get the match set up um, and then we can go to the chat because that they probably still have a second. And his opponent, of course, Milko Mena. Lucas. Um, Lucas, recently mainly melee player, mm -hmm. plays a lot of melee mm -hmm. online. Um, yes. Very strong Lucas, Yeah. but not as active recently. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting yeah. to see how much he still got. I think this match is in favor of Benji right now. Uh, Benji has had some major upsets recently, upping his game every time he goes to a new tournament. He's improving rapidly right now. Yeah, and he's mm -hmm. also the higher seed, seed number two in the pool, Mil yeah. uh, Milko mm -hmm. Who's first Trying seed? To, uh, first no. seed is... I'm not sure... Let me check, let me check. First seed is near. Near. Uh, place Ike. The guy who commentated before. Mainly Ike. And Gandorf. But mainly Ike. Um, yeah. So, what do you think overall about the matchup Lucas against Fox? Because I have some strong thoughts. It's difficult to tell for me. I don't play either of those characters. Um, wait, I'll ask. General Road! General Fox! Your, your opinion on the matchup? Uh, Fox against against uh, Lucas, yeah. Even ish slash Fox slightly wins. Right, you've heard the best Lucas player in Europe say it's even ish. Slightly Fox favor. Yeah, Fox does have the speed. Lucas he does have the speed. Yes. Lucas again has kind of the range and stronger hitboxes. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. he manages to get them through Fox's quick hitboxes, I feel and like the um, Lucas grab combos against Fox are stupid. Yes, I feel like but the then again, Fox combos against everyone are yeah, hell I feel stupid. like the main game of this, uh, the main objectives of these games will be that Lucas will try to wall Fox out, and as soon as Fox manages to reach to the wall, Lucas should be able to uh, counteract that, and then he would get every single opening. Again. And one thing we already saw that is a major game changer: mm -hmm. SDI in this matchup. Yeah. Yes, I Which think. you saw, um, Milkomena got a grab, down throw Nair, usually you get a, a big combo after that, but Benji just slide SDI down and you just fall out of it, especially with Fox because he's such a fast faller. And then it gets hard for uh, Lucas to get real good combos. Alright. Right now even-ish, but mm -hmm. if it's even at that percent, this is kinda in my opinion, advantage for Lucas because he needs less to get the kill because he has very good confirms and just up throw. And we are getting close to the down throw up air percentage. Mm -hmm. Side B into up air, air dodges, the up air. Oh, he was ready for the up smash. He was totally ready for it. Benji is always ready. Yes. Nice high side B counteracting the down, down, yeah, down smash. Mm -hmm. Right, not too much happening, each player getting an opening, but Lucas getting the down throw into up air. That's kill what confirm. I meant. Approaching... It's Lucas' main kill. Yeah, we all know it. Approaching know it. Lucas with Fox is very, very hard, because he has the strong hitboxes, mm -hmm. and it's it's just overall, Lucas and Ness, you have to watch out so well to not get grabbed. Yeah. Oh, nice tech chase. Yeah, that's something Benji does so consistently. Everyone tags out because you're DIing away. And if you tag out even once, you're gonna get up smashed yeah, by But Benji. I also feel like he was not only expecting it, but he was also reacting to it. So, well played by Benji. 
That's overall something um, Swiss Fox players are adapting to. Mm -hmm. um, you don't go for the down air up smash if it's not 100% true. Yeah. You just go for the tech chase. Mm -hmm. Because tech chasing with Fox is not the hardest thing in the world. I agree. His speed definitely enables some strong punishes on tech chasing. Right, good side B into up. Wow. <laughs> I just went that to say... such a nice combo. Back to the match. <laughs> yes. But then you just started talking about the match. And losing so. Ooh, doesn't quite get the down air. And now Benji's getting a combo. 88%, that's definitely up smash kill percent. Especially if he gets it with a setup move. However, 74, that's just some hits. And oh. then down throw up air percentage. Now down throw up air is a kill confirmed. And he gets the call out on the, the side B with the up smash. One of the strongest up smashes in the game. That was that was a really strong call out. And I feel like yeah. Benji will definitely have to overthink every single side B he'll do yeah. on stage from now like, on. <laughs> you give it to him in game one and yeah. from now on. Mm -hmm. If he's in this position, mm -hmm. he's gonna be scared. Like you just show him, and if they don't respect it mm -hmm. in the beginning, yes, just give it to him. Yeah. I enjoy right. folks getting punished for high side B <laughs> because maybe <laughs> if I see it enough, I'll stop doing it myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going into game two. Okay, interesting. Counter pick for Benji is Smashville. Um, oh. I got a match in triplets were banned. And he doesn't want to go to town because Lucas kills even earlier on town with his kill confirms. Mm -hmm. Smashville then again kind of hard because grab covers even more space. Oh. Ooh, nice combo. Yes, Benji definitely really consistent in this set. Oh no, Milkomena misses his angle. Misses the tether grab and then getting Quite the angle yes. in the uh, invisible part of the, of the mm. screen is... Really unfortunate. Especially if you don't play a lot, that's kind of getting hard. And I agree, though I do believe that this angle should not be too difficult to hit. Yeah, no. That's why I try to excuse him with saying that he doesn't play a yes, lot. He doesn't. Because th otherwise, yes, you have true. to. You have to. I mean, if you're a Lucas main, you gotta hit your angles no matter where they are. Yes, and Benji is totally in control right now. I said no ma Okay, never mind. <laughs> Benji is totally in control right now. Only 35%. Yeah, of course, such an early stock that gives you the, all the momentum you need. You can yes. go for it. You yes, can take yes. all the risks you want at, at this point, especially if you're mm. still at zero, because Lucas does have some hard punishes, but not quite that hard. Especially, as we said, Milkomena doesn't practice right now. And then wow. he just don't have the punishes. And the falling up air, that looked so that clean. That was amazing. Well falling played. up air well by Fox looks yes. so stylish. And not the best DI, and that's the second game, 2-0. That was a quick one. I feel like the game gets mo even more difficult as soon as Fox has a big lead on yeah. Lucas because Lucas can't just keep on walling out Fox because Wa Fox will just stop approaching. Yeah, and Lucas mm. doesn't have the speed to mm. kind of force hits onto Fox. Yes. He, he has to get a hard read in neutral to mm. even get a single hit, basically. Mm. Yeah. Alright, choosing FD. Anyways, um, FD of course, footstool combos. Yes, I, I don't know if he got mm -hmm. those, but he's gonna try probably. And it's if he gets them, that's gonna be. Seen. Looks, I feel looks like one of those things. Like yes, I feel like one of those things that Milkomina likes to uh, lap with Lucas are the footstool combos. Oh yeah, but it's difficult to hit on Fox. Fox being such a fast faller. Yeah, you have to get the instant um, down air because otherwise Fox is just gonna la be laying there already. Mm -hmm. He gets the spot dodge with, oh, tries to go for another foot stool, but he get it this time. 80% already on Milkomena. Oh, all right. Oh, that nice was clean. Perfect pivot up that was clean. Yeah. That was like the max range of the perfect pivot up tilt, and I think it would have confirmed into the up air, but he was just a tad slow. You can definitely notice that Benji has a lot of practice with his character. What I also like about Benji's playstyle is that he's really confident in his approaches, in his punishes. That's crucial when playing Fox, in my yeah. opinion. You have to be confident in your spacing 100%. Mm -hmm. Yes. Otherwise, you're gonna be... Oh, Ooh, but he catches the jump with yes. the down smash for the first time. Now Milkomena in the lead. Can he pull through? Oh, never, never mind. He won game one. I'm stupid. <laughs> We're even, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Wait, now. what? Oh, you're right, he won game one. Yeah, it's I one forgot one. too. I totally forgot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and okay. now, 
this is kind of the opposite of game two. Right yes. now, Milkomena is so confident in walling out Fox. Mm. Hitting so many PK fires, like they don't do a lot of damage, but it's gonna sum up and Fox, he dies quickly. Right now, um, actually I've died at 75% too. And we see Benji being really close to getting his openings. Next trap is it, because next rage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this gets really difficult for Fox. Now he has to approach him. Mikomina just using PK fire to wall Fox out. And then the mm -hmm. Sorry. trying to force a high approach mm -hmm. and then try to catch the landing with mm -hmm. the grab yes. for the kill. Oh, Nair, down yeah. to that, that's it. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, oh, but the air dodge. All right, all right. He was ready. Yeah, that was like... Benji wasn't. A series of unfortunate errors uh -huh, because uh -huh. he read the DI in because the mm -hmm. DI in is the one where you live the longest, right? Mm -hmm. But Benji go went for the mix-up. Usually you can react to it, but Milkomena just wasn't ready for it. Yes. And Benji was like, shit, he missed. I'm going to air dodge down. And Milkomena just yeah. staying cool, not trying to overextend and go for something he's not 100% confident in. And then just reacts to the air dodge with the up air. And right now, this would be actually kind of a big upset, if we're honest. Like, I Benji not getting, so. po possibly not getting out of pools if he loses this game. I definitely feel like Benji uh, has a lot of pressure right now. Yeah. On like he's pressure is difficult for keeping confidence. Oh, misses the fast fall. Nice, goes for the double shield, forcing the landing aerial, and now getting a big combo. Mm. Still keeping it going. Yeah, and you see Benji not messing up his perfect pivot up tilts. That is a yeah. really good quality of him. That's not like me. <laughs> Anyways, Lucas has strong punishes. Okay, um, back uh, to the match. Ooh, and does he get it? Oh, no, not quite. Very high footstool. Tries to catch the side B with Nair. Mm, and you can see Milkomena being confident. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Like, you see it in his punishes, you see it in his follow ups that he tries to get. But I feel like Benji is definitely not out of the game. I feel like he still has composure. Yeah, like a, fo a fox that is confident in his movement and mm -hmm. not completely out leveled by the other player yes. is just can always, always, always a danger. This time he hits the angle. Oh, oh. nice. Spurt by Milkomena not going for the air dodge instantly because that would have been instant death. And then Benji just saying, telling him, you just know, if you don't air dodge, oh, wow. I don't care. I'm going to back air anyways. And he loses the stock. And now, Benji? That was, that was very unfortunate. Uh, lacking yeah. the awareness there. Actually, it even looked like he tried to run off, but only got the walk. Mm -hmm. Because he, I, I'm pretty sure he was standing quickly enough, mm -hmm. but he didn't get off the platform. Nice SDI, oh, only 11%. I want to see Milkomena go for other things at 0%, like delayed up air or something like that. Because Nair is not going to work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, beautiful frame traps. Nice. Oh, probably misinput. Can continue the combo, but Milkomena still in disadvantage. Benji chasing him down. Oh, and that's going to be a re-grab. Oh, Ooh, all right, all right. great angle to delay just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Benji lacking the awareness again. Is this his, are, this his ner are these his nerves showing up? It's getting close. Oh, nice spot dodge. Really clutch spot dodge yeah. there. It wouldn't have been it quite yet. Oh, no! But he Almost. dashes too far. Like, that was a series of no <laughs> unfortunate way. events again. Milkomena misses the tag. However, Benji doesn't get it on. Oh, clean down smash Beautiful, here. beautiful Gets the air dodge. That was definitely a beautiful follow-up. Benji's still in this. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Another game five set. <laughs> Why are pools so end, close huh? already? Yeah. Of course, only two players make it out of pools. Very, very mm -hmm. stacked tournament. Mm -hmm. um, and then top 32. Both, of course, Milkomena kind of... Well, top if you don't play a lot, you want to play a lot when you play. Like, you mm -hmm. want to get those matches in, those good matches. Yes. So I guess he wants to get into brackets. Of course, Benji lately just coming off of an upset against... Waves, one of the top three currently in the... Did he just beat Waves? At uh, the heavy qualifier, yes. Ah, right. Not at this tournament. No, right. no. Yes. Um, okay. He wants to keep this momentum going. And um, right now, Milkomena playing clean. I shouldn't have said that because he up smashed. Benji going for the down air. Thank you, ledge trap. 
Lucas. Ooh, shields the, per uh, the PK fire there. Benji's up smashes sometimes confuse me because I don't think he wants to go for these, but then again, mm -hmm. he doesn't do a lot of input misses, which is why I am very confused. And yeah, right now Benji in control, trying to find the stock. I love game fives. Yeah, both players just trying to beat each other out. Finally, Milkomena back on stage. Oh, but the down air falls out of the down air. Now Rage, Milkomena just needs one more. Nah, that, not quite. Oh, back throw, back throw is so strong. I don't know if it has to do with this. <gasps> Doesn't get it. Oh, both recover. <laughs> that was really, no. that was really Milko close Milkomena definitely biting himself yes. a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice jump, not trying to go for any air dodge or uh -huh. something, just getting out of there. Mm -hmm. Benji a little bit hesitant, I think it would have been true the Nair up smash, but he wanted, he wasn't confident. He's off stage again, gets down there, but no sweet spot there. Up tilt, no up air. This is so close. Yeah, right now both players can die at any moment. Yes. Oh, an F throw. <laughs> Getting yeah, Lucas almost to the very edge of the stage. <laughs> yes. No good oh. DI and the drop down double jump gets caught out by the back mm -hmm. air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Milkomena with his back to the wall. Lost stock. Game five. Yeah, but and that's it. That's it. He it. Back even. Clean. Good. Yes. Clean. Clean. Zero percent each. Game five. Last stock. Same as last time. Almost. And yeah. Usually Fox holds the jab there. <gasps> nice. He went for the short top nair this time. So he could continue the combo, gets 25%, not just 13. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? Yo, what? <laughs> First of all, I don't think he wanted to do it, but then just turning the miss input into a dangerous situation for Benji. There would have been a lot more percentage if he didn't just go into the ground. No way, no way. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, he makes it back, still in the lead. Usually you shouldn't be afraid of Lucas not coming back on that angle, but as we've learned from Il Camino, anything can happen off stage. Anything. Right, nice up tilt. The percents are slowly getting dangerous for mm -hmm. both players. Mm -hmm. Goes for an anti grab there. That tech chase would have been it if he would have cut the roll in. Oh, that that's it? it? No! no he what? It. He missed what? It. He missed it. This is so close. Up One. air! Bad the eye and the bad eye! Right. Another bad eye! Yeah. And Benji mm -hmm. with the clutches keeps composure. Game 5 last hit, another close set, but this time the second seed the player wins. Mm -hmm. Cool set right. so far. We see both players hugging it out. Yeah, great uh, set. Yes, it was a great set. Both players gave it their all. Okay. Anyways, do you know who's playing next? Rom against Crazy Shroom, isn't it? Oh, they're already playing. It's 1-1 one, one between Rom and Crazy Shroom. Rom is a Greek Ganondorf main. Second best player in Greece. Ganondorf only. Alright. We have to wait a short moment for the next set on stream. Um, we're gonna see who finishes first. We are either gonna see Smuff versus Andragon or oh. um, yeah. SOS Crazy Shroom against... Um, SC Rom, one of the Greek players attending, yeah. playing mm -hmm. Ganondorf. I think yeah. he's the best of the Greek players, isn't uh, he? The second best. Second best, okay. Um, yeah, as I said, playing Ganondorf, Ganondorf against Cloud. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm very happy to see on stream here. And it's not going to be too one-sided, probably, even though it's a Cloud there. Um, yeah, we'll just have to wait a bit. Anything you have to say? Not really. I Let's give some shout-outs. Um, shout-outs to Hard Read for the great stream. Shoutouts to BenQ, Zoe, a brand by BenQ, uh, for sponsoring 40 great um, screens. Shoutouts to all of you guys for attending and bringing so many setups. Uh, Shoutouts for you guys at home uh, for watching. Anyone I forgot? Shoutouts to Danger Noodle for organizing. Shoutouts to eParadise and uh, Gameplays, Lucerne. Gameplay sponsoring the uh, prizes for the amateur bracket, I think. Also for the winners bracket, and I'm not too sure. A prize, no, a prize for okay. ladder, a prize for amateur bracket, ah. and I think one thing that goes into a raffle as far as all I All right, know. all right, yes. 
Ey. Shoutouts to Jugend Kulturzentrum, of course. Great venue. 24 hours open. We can even sleep here. Mm -hmm. Amazing. They even have showers. See? Yeah, so that's what, that what, that's what all Smash players need in the morning. But they don't realize it. Wash your butt. Yeah, big shout out to Exodus. Great tournament. We are having so much fun here. A lot of setups, 16 tournament setups, and like almost as many friendly setups that are that are constantly available. Available. Mm -hmm. Yes, I feel like that's definitely a big strength of the tournament. Yeah. The main tournament room being this one, and then there's another one uh, right next to it. We can hang out there. We have sofas. We also have sofas here to watch the stream, as you can see on the great crowd cam uh, set up by Hard Rizeho. So yeah, we'll just have to wait a bit. Can yeah. you do some um, animator music or something? <laughs> Top tier commentary. That's not Bossa Nova, I guess, but uh, something close. Why we're not defending our Kusanosai, I don't know. Oh, look, a lot of Greek being shown on the chat in the chat. I'm having the chat here right now, so we can see it. Yeah, talk to us, chat. What talk do you want to know? What do you want to know? Oh, we also see the chat here. Second best in Greece, yes. Second best in Greece! Hi, Sintro. I'm not Kepler, but hi. Where's my boy Lunar? Lunar is at the tournament. Can you see him? Um, no, you can't see him on the camera, sadly. I think he was playing through phase one. Ah, that's as far as I know, not 100% mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Great commentary. Okay, so Lunar far. is playing Crazy Room right now, so we are just waiting for Crazy Room to finish. Lunar mm -hmm. not going to be mm -hmm. on stream in pools. Oh, all right. Here we can show the things that GP Gameplays sponsored for this tournament. A the winner of the amateur bracket gets the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Classic Mini. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are the other prizes? Super Mario Party. Uh, yeah. Mario Party mm. for the winner of the ladder. Brand new game. A lot of fun. And the Super Mario Odyssey is going into the raffle. The funny thing is, with this prize in amateur bracket, you feel like when a top player just gonna drop gets upset pools. in pools, he'll just win this. And he did he it has on purpose. no reason to be unhappy. He did it on purpose. <laughs> I'm it calling it out. Yes, it can be a strategy to lose with this amazing prize. I wanted <laughs> to call out one of the first seats right now and just tell him. But that would mean like everybody would hear it. <laughs> um, no, we can't play friendlies. I'm sorry. Who do they play, huh? Yeah, bro. Anyways, we should get to the next match very soon. I hope so. What do you think? Um, I don't know. We don't even know which match first. We don't even know what's ex exactly gonna be the next match. Oh, there's Lancelot. Yeah, he's on the couch. On the coach. Oh, he, yeah. Well, he wrote coach. He's on the, he's coach. On the couch. What yeah, coach? You can see him is on the he on Mirakuru? You can see him on the couch. The top wait, tier wait, wait. cruise coach. Lancelot is behind the guy with the red blue shirt on the left on the screen. So yeah, you Lancelot, can't see him. you really have to work on your English. That mm. coming well. to Exodus and then doing this, at least get first seat in the pool, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late; you can't delete it. <laughs> All right. I feel um, bad. Breaks on stream are always bad. You got some jokes to tell? Two Smash players walk into a bar. But <laughs> 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 no, I to be continued! <laughs> um, what's Deer's main? Who's Deer? He's number one in Greece. Why don't oh, you know? Everybody I, I, should oh, know. Sorry. Number one in I Greece. Think, I think Deer, famous player. Pit, Pit right? Yeah, Pit. I, yeah. Uh, he plays, he plays a lot, a lot of online. online. <laughs> yeah, he plays, have you met him online? Yeah, he beat me. Oh, I met him online too, but that was quite a long time ago. I got grabbed um, like every two seconds. He okay. probably doesn't remember. Yeah. Um, hmm. Do you know which uh, Smash Choke? Two mics are too much pressure because I don't know one. I can do a lot of like Smash puns. 
<laughs> uh, Deer's not at the tournament, sadly. Oh, dear. If there's an Exodus... <laughs> oh, <my God> <laughs> I told you! <laughs> anyway, if, there, if there's an, uh, an Exodus 2, Deer, you should come, if you're watching. Everybody should come. Everybody should great come. Venue, yes. Great venue. Great... Decent organization. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> amazing uh. stream. Amazing, just... The, the overall mood is so great. Everyone's yeah. having fun, I think. Mm -hmm. Tell me if you're not... Mm -hmm. No, don't mm -hmm. tell me. I don't care. You're having fun. Um... Alright. And um, great stream, except the commentators are just telling shit because oh we don't fuck. have a match to go <gasps> on. Alright, alright. Dr. Love. Dr. Love coming with the best smash talk I've heard in a while. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna read it out loud, but you guys can actually read it in the chat, so why should I read it? Um, <laughs> how many puff players does Melee need? Only Juan. Right. Actually, you Thank could you make this into a light bulb joke. I think. I think this should be a light bulb joke. Like, how many how many puff players does it take to change a light bulb? Right. How many puff players does it take to change the melee scene? Right, um, Shoutouts to uh, uh, Pewix. You missed something. Um, it's not new to it's like you know what I'm gonna say, but I'm not gonna say it because you're not gonna say it. What? Maybe it's just maybe it's just you. Mew too. Mew is amazing. As it's a not Mew too, but Mew to you. Welcome to Axiom. We're getting desperate here. Where are the TOs? We need a match. Go on stream. Crazy stream. We need you. I don't care. Go on stream. Yeah, get ready. Play against CPUs. Play against CPUs, man. Okay, we got Smuff. Smuff is our hero right now. Smuff against Andragon. Andragon, Falco, Smuff, Falcon. Can we please see Falco against Falcon? I love the matchup because Falcon is generally entertaining. And Falco is entertaining to watch, but there are just some matchups that Falco just doesn't want to see. And Falcon is one of the matchups that is actually okay because he gets great, great edge guards, um, great combos. Like Mario Chanopoulos. <laughs> Mido Yanopoulos. I don't know who that is. Is he, is he Greek? Don't you know Milo Yanopoulos? No. You, you look exactly like him. Great. All right. Anyways, let's see what character Smuff decides to pick. He has definitely three tournament-ready ca characters that are tournament-ready. Three? Yes, three. Uh, Mario. Captain Fox Mario. Yes, okay. Captain Fox Mario. Um, yeah, maybe we should tell a little bit about Smuff because we didn't speak about him at all. Um, mm -hmm. Still Albert Smuff, right? Yes, still Albert, Albert Smuff. Smuff, one of the top players of Switzerland, um, had international results, won a Falcon Ditto in a round robin against the Captain Falcon, um, with whose name is uh, Totality, of course. Um... Also has a Fox and a Mario, as we said. One of the best players in Switzerland. But, to be honest, recently he didn't show a lot of results. He didn't go to a lot of tournaments. Yes. So he's probably here to prove that he is still on point. That he can still show it to everyone. So he wants to show up today and tomorrow. Because honestly, he needs to. It's maybe one of his last chances in Smash 4. I have a sad story to tell. When it I does. put on the stream on my phone to watch the uh, to watch the the comments, I noticed just now that I was using my mobile data. So now I used it all up. Oh, you broke. It's the twentieth of October. <laughs> but back to the match. Well, there's nothing to go back to, though. <laughs> I was just trying to. Save back, the moment. Back, back, back to back, back on point, you know. Back to back Smash Will, which is the pick for our game one. Falcon oh. against Falco. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Smuff, Smuff lost game one, I guess. Let's go. One for Andragon. That was a quick one. Huh? Smuff yeah. just saying, you know, your Falco, Falco overall is just too sick. I'm just gonna. Uh, it's just gonna. No, no, no. I, ju I just, try. need, I just need two games. I just need two games against you. Hold up. Nah. <laughs> oh, let's go Falco. No, he forgot to set his controls. Uh, yeah. Well, as a pro control user, that's definitely very important. Pro control users like to map a lot of weird stuff to their controllers. Everyone likes to map. It's 2018. 
everyone likes to map a lot of weird stuff. Yeah. But especially pro controllers, I mean, you have so many buttons, you gotta use them. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Captain Falcon. All right. Shoutouts to the frame for back air that will be used a lot in this and set. Forward and forward air. Forward air to edge guard Captain Falcon. Oh because if he doesn't have the double jump, yeah. just smuff totally explained it as <laughs> you can't Sh see me. Just anyways, sh shoutouts, shoutouts to Falcons down there. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. We're starting out with a jab lock. Another. Oh wow. Smuff, wow, you gotta attack those. Awesome. Like, come on. You know. This um, his housemate actually also plays Captain Falcon, so I, I feel like he should know. Whose housemate? Lucasium. Ah, oh, he plays Falco, you mean? Yeah, yeah Falco. Yeah. Anyways, Anragon not eating any percent right now. This is so scary. No and, way. Um, All right. Not quite. All right. But that's hard for Falcon because he's dead. He's actually dead. Wow. I'm, yeah, Smuff doesn't even try. I'm just using confidence in the Swiss scene right now. This is so sad. Uh, let's go, Smuff. You have to carry us, Captain. You and I'm Will <laughs> are. Huh. Will's still in. Yeah, as I said, Kepler and Will. Smuff is not out. Carry us. Smuff yeah. can definitely win this. Yeah, as we just saw, Captain Falcon, of course, very momentum based, very um, high risk, high reward character. 76% mm -hmm. already if he gets an up air, landing up air, or something else. Yeah, and we see Andragon using a lot of niche tech, I feel like. Uh, yeah. Niche tech in a sense like nobody knows what Falco does. Niche tech in the sense that he plays Falco. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, just right. a tear yeah. out of the percent for yeah. the all right. falling up into me. And now this is kind of mm -hmm. getting hard because Becker mm -hmm. doesn't quite KO yet, but he doesn't have the setup. All right, nice tech. Oh, the tech wall jump into down there might have worked, but doesn't mm -hmm. go for it. Oh, I don't know what Smuff wanted to do. Difficult situation. Ooh, Andragon already going for style, recovering to the other side clean. Great mid up. Did you know that uh, something similar to this was covered in Beefy Smash Dudes 100 tips for every single character in Smash? Go watch the video. Exactly what you saw there. Using the up B to go below and the high jump of Falco to go below the Smash platform. If you, you watched the video, you would have known what was going on. Oh, two with Fox actually. Mm -hmm. And with Falco, I think you have to go for an B reverse up B to get back onto the same stage you came from. Uh, with yeah. Fox, you can just side B into the middle, double jump, and then it's a complete mix up where you go. Oh, wow, yeah. So yeah, you have to 50 50. Yeah, you just, you just notice what, what top tiers can do, what low tiers can't. Alright, good jab. Nice by Andragon to trying to cover the roll away, but of course. Falcon has a decent roll, mm -hmm. and Falco does not have a decent speed. And we both know, one grab by Falcon can be it. One one off stage play by Falcon. Anything, anything. And that's the grab. That's an up air. Whoa, air dodges. Yeah, this is scary. Oh, and that's a knee. All just right. gets the grab and just bam. Oh, yeah, Smuff is not out of this. Getting zero to death, and then just showing him, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I got some justice for ya. Yeah, that's. That's the smuff. That's the smuff factor. He can yeah. come back anytime. Fox is sick. Yeah, that's that's because he plays Fox. Smuff, and, Fox uh, ain't sick, but the rest. Uh, Falcon. Yeah. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff to smuff. Defending our country. You ain't lost confidence in him yet. I am. In 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 Falcon in smuff. In smuff. Mm. Yes, I am confident in him. Uh, he hasn't been practicing as much. He told me. Having other stuff in mind, ultimate coming around, of course, there's not that much of a motivation to practice. So I feel like the winners of this tournament are the ones that keep on grinding, yeah. that don't give up. And yeah, this match is completely different, of course. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are even. But even doesn't really mean a lot if one character has the potential to kill at 70 and one character does. Oh, doesn't or does he? Oh. Okay, interesting scenario there at the ledge with the up B. I think the grab hit the grab of the, uh, well, the up B of Falcon does like 17%, by the way. That's crazy. That's hard. Yeah, what I like to do is to I like to stand at the ledge and nice F smash. That nice F, F smash, smash is so yes. strong. He just Quick. comes down on you with his wings and uh -huh. just his gone. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Wow, was that a roll callout? The hardest of roll callouts by Smuff with the up B. Uh, you see, you see Smuff in a similar situation, a bit better than last game. We both know Falcon always, always. Let's go for another Ronnie. 
That's a combo. 53%. Yeah, Falco's combos are actually sick, and they work very well against Cap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, evading the back air from Falco. 150% on Falco right now, but he's mm -hmm. not quite gone yet. Falco has the tools to edge guard Falcon very well, so Smoth mm -hmm. has to watch out so he gets this kill without taking any hard hits. Oh, that would be an opportunity to hit the down air. All right, yeah, all right. Especially because he went for the BC up B. So he overshot the stage just a little bit. And that's a back air with max rage. Yeah. Not quite. Falcon's very beefy. Yeah. Oh, another one, and that's a two star. All right. 160%, but he didn't lose his stock. Clean play one, by Angragon, showing that he can definitely win against Smuff too. 1-1 one, one between both. Clean. Oh, we see Vanaheim in the chat. Who <laughs> 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 this? He, he, uh, the Strasbourg people have a, like, when you, I think it's when you fly very far and then you almost don't die. Like, you, you don't die, but very close. It's a Vanaheim. Is that correct? Pyrrhic? means God. Sh shout out to Fire. Vanaheim means God. Alright. Uh, we'll stop the memory. Shout out to Falco for his combos right now. Shout out to Frame for back air. And shout out to his long ass mouth. How do you say? Was that Schnabel of English? Uh, peak. peak. Yeah, long ass all right, peak. Alright, alright. Yes. Yes, I feel like with Falco you can definitely see in what direction you will go next. Um, yeah. Kind of a weakness. At the same time, it's still very good. Oh. Yeah, Smuff, Smuff going for very direct punishes, not too Ooh. many air dodge reads. Alright, I think he tried to clip the That's jump. It? That's it. Yes. Wow. Oh, oh, I wanted to see a down air. Alright, alright. I wanted to see a down air too. That's cool. Too. I think Andragon wanted to see a down air too, but. I really love that, the, those very like funny things that uh, Andragon pulls out of his pocket to mix up Smuff in every way possible. Definitely a big strength of um, characters that are as unrepresented as Falco. Now Smuff already behind again. Mm -hmm. Kind mm -hmm. of similar, um, similar things showing up as in the other game before. Another forward air. Oh Another forward no air. Yeah, but that's not it. Falcon can still come back. That is it. Yeah, well, that not if he plays is it up. with um, the down air. Andragon popping off on Smuff. Another two stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Andragon's, on the mm. Andragon's definitely in control. Falcon, Falco's down air is actually just so bad. So if it manages to kill, you gotta pop off. That's sick. That actually is sick. I love Falco's down air. Even though it's so fucking bad. <laughs> All right. Let's see, 2-1, Andragon being up one game. Wow. Smuff switching Fox. to Fox, yeah. <laughs> Fox being one of the most played characters in Switzerland, if not the Overall most played Europe. character. All Overall of Europe, in Europe really? I think. Or at least in a lot of hearts. Yeah, that's true, that's true. And there are um, so many top players playing Fox. I really don't like the joke, but this matchup, we know this from another game. And. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was clean. That was very Up cool. throw. Nice tech. Alright, we'll see if Smuff can show what he's got. He needs to show up right now. I mean, you don't want to get upset in pools already. Because then you're basically in the lower part of the bracket and if you have to play against the seed one, that's gonna be hard. Because the first seed, the first seeds yes. in those pools are mm -hmm. all killers. Mm -hmm. Who's the first seed in that pool? Andragon? Smuff. Smuff is the first seed? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm okay. pretty sure. Yes. That's that's actually that actually very well might very well be possible. Um, I'm projected to play against uh, Andragon myself. Smuff is first seed. All right, all right. So uh, if Andragon wins, I'll have to play against Smuff. Swift Swiss elimination. Yeah, but right now Smuff kind of showing that the counter pick is definitely worth it. Yes. 87%. If he doesn't get F Smash, he ain't gonna die. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. And I really like his spacing there. Staying at a certain range where Falco just has trouble approaching safely. Oh, oh good effort. Just a neutral mm -hmm. tag, but mm -hmm. not really mm -hmm. punishes. 76%. Oh. Andragon just going oh. for the jab, jab, and then 
tries to get a setup here. Yeah. He just kills with the raw down tilt. Mm -hmm. Like the inner part of the down tilt is mm -hmm. a stronger hitbox. Oh, all right. I didn't know that. And that kills. But I think it was also not optimal DI because you can DI out very uh -huh. well and then it only kills very late. Uh-huh. But like this, again, right. the car is Oh, gets the oh, reset. Good DI, good DI yeah. there. Oh, oh, nice back air. That was very clean. That was Catching so clean. The nair. Yeah. Clean spacing. Smurf is not out of this yet. He's just, mm -hmm. he's like, you know, I like to play Falco, mm -hmm. but we're done playing now. I yeah. gotta win. We can I'm not getting upset already. And we hear the French players supporting Andragon in the chat and here in at the venue of Exodus 2018. Uh, <laughs> our third set and our 15th game. We are commentating. <laughs> this is... Can it's we get cool. game like fives it. every single time, please? That would yeah. be so funny. It's so cool so you can get like... Maximum just, hype. Yeah, maximum hype. And also, um, like, you don't just see a sneak peek into the player, but you actually see them like playing. You can dive into them like you can really... Yeah, 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 that's true. You, you can, can see a lot more patterns than in just three games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna try to uh, prevent Smuff from juggling him with the down air. Just like brute forcing his way down because right, down good air. spacing. Wow. Yes, you can definitely Double see that uh, Falco has a big advantage uh, with his uh, with players being just unaware of his options. Oh, and he catches it beside B, and now Andragon is in a big. He has a big ass lead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very clean play. Fox can make it back anytime, though. Yeah. yeah and Andragon has to be careful. Almost two stocking Andragon before, so it's definitely mm -hmm. not over mm -hmm. for him yet. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Nair into jab. Tries to get a grab afterwards, doesn't quite. Back air. Okay. Smuff still in this. Oh, all right. Catches the lot. Yes. That was, that was actually untackable um, spin. Untackable yeah, spin. That was usually it. Usually, I think he could have delayed the tech situation uh -huh, or uh -huh, with uh -huh. the eye, or okay. at least went even for something like jump because Falco isn't the heaviest or the mm -hmm. fast fallest, mm -hmm. fast fallingest mm -hmm. character. Mm -hmm. But he went for a full DI down. Oh, all right. <gasps> oh, Smuff goes for it all. Nice angle. <laughs> all right. Oh Smuff not going off stage. Uh, trying to play safe. Wow, the back air. And now off stage with the back air. No double jump. Oh, never mind. Now no double jump. Let's from. All right, this is this gets really close. All right, good DI. Up air. 99% on Fox. And Falco, Falco has kill power. That's yes, one thing he yes, really has. Yes. F tilt. Fox still back. Goes for the side B. Oh. Can he get a combo? That was very clean. By Smuff. What? That's a back air. That's, That's the upset. Andragon beats Smuff 3 2. Well played, Andragon. Well played, Smuff 2, of course. Great set, in my opinion. <laughs> I really Another like great it. set. Wow, yes, oh, yes. let's go. Yes. One amazing set after the other. So definitely stay tuned for the next one. Uh, I think we'll see Crazy Shroom play against Rom. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Oh, cool. Hmm. All right. Uh, what? Anyways, I really enjoyed... I really enjoyed what Andragon showed with his Falco. Definitely side. many interesting techniques being shown by Andragon. Also Smuff being very precise with his uh, Rauer back airs and many different punishes. I really like those two. The set could have been gone into any way, uh, any direction. And I definitely think that was very exciting to watch. Falco's fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> Fox 2. Fox 2. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure too if it should be considered an upset. It's considered an upset by the um, by the bracket, you know. But I think because both players are like seated seated in a like middle spot, you could yeah. say, they just uh, were put in a pool where like you could say the 40 uh, the 15th best player plays against the 16th Actually best, you know. So it wasn't that big of a difference, of course. I think seat could have gone either 12. way from the very beginning. Smuff is seat number 12, so he is. Quite a bit above Andragon, but not like too much. He's on the lower part of the first, lower half of the first seats of the pools. Yes. And Andragon on the higher half of the second seat. However, what the hell? Uh, well, Agrofox. Uh, Agrofox. May I ask you, how, how did your pools go? I got out of it 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> won twice 3-0 yes. and lost once 3-0. Nice. Uh -huh. So basically uh -huh. everything right. as it should. <laughs> yes, that's, that's very clean, I guess. I mean, I was in the first pool with Purple Age, so... Okay, yeah, Purple Age, a very strong opponent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He beat me convincingly. Um, I played on stream against Ryo Saki and I believe I beat him also rather convincingly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we had Quick Day in our pool, who is a player who doesn't play too much and never really played too much, so he lost to everyone rather convincingly. Yes. Hi, Xcloud in the chat. What's up? Okay, we are going into the game. Lilith for Cloud against uh, Ganondorf. Not Smurf against Andragon anymore. We are having SOS Grace Room against SC Rom. Um, All right. Yeah, I feel like key in this matchup will be Crazy Shroom trying to play as safe as possible until he gets an opening and then trying to deny Ganondorf any sort of retaliation. Uh, not making it possible for him to get back into neutral and you see that right now exactly. exactly. Very difficult. It's very difficult for Ganon to get back. Yeah, but you also, like, we have to know Rom, he's a Ganon main. That's yeah. what he deals with. Yeah. He's not scared. He gotta know how to play against this. He's never scared. He just goes for his stuff. Uh, like the uh, down tilt. Right now, probably Crazy Shroom is scared. That's, you, that's very normal, I think. When you play against Gandorf, it's very difficult to keep a very uh, clean and objective mindset. And I feel like Ganondorf really thrives off of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like Crazy Room is a player that sometimes gets upset by rather weird stuff. Like there are stories about him losing to a King DDD at the reset piece. And that's a dash attack and Rom is up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Sylph. I'm just greeting people in the chat. Uh, <laughs> Back to the match! Um, and yeah, actually, I don't understand the Lylat neutral pick. Maybe Rome was betting on Trace Room not picking Lylat because mm -hmm. Lylat is not mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. uh, most likable stage for a lot of players. Oh, then again, I, Gendorf, I believe... Gendorf has some niche tech, by the way, on Lylat. Um, some certain movement boosts with his down B, I think, and the tilt like, of Lylat. Okay, you can cancel it or...? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. It's really funny. It looks really cool. Yeah, but, but then again, in my opinion, Ooh, Lylat right. is Cloud's strongest stage mm -hmm. because you can cover landing so well with the platforms and just up there covers everything. Trace Room, of course, not out of this yet. It's not for nothing he's playing one of the best characters in the game. But he's off stage again, does have a double jump, but... Oh, Roll gets caught out, Jab. Uh, Trace Room... <laughs> Far in kill percent. And that's a Nair run off stage Nair. And that's a JV two star. Convincing right. for Rom. Um, Crazy Shroom has to think now a lot. Yeah. Yes, that was a really strong showing by uh, Rom there with his Gandorf. And um, this is where it gets hard because mm -hmm. you're not mm -hmm. too confident going into it. Mm -hmm. And then you lose the first game so convincingly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you have to keep it together. Right. But Rom is from uh, Greece. He's the second best player, by the way, uh, for all the new people in the chat. Second best player in Greece plays Gandorf only. And as Dimitri says, he ain't playing around, man. Mm -hmm. We are going into game two on Town and City. Okay, we're gonna see the Donkey Kong. Crazy Room, of course, was a used to be a Donkey Kong main, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, but switched to Cloud. Yeah, and you see already uh, Gandorf going for a jab after the side B. That's the only follow up he gets on uh, DK. That's funny. If DK misses the tech, ah, all right. You great. see that? Jab, great. jab, jab, grab. Mm. And yeah, but it's only 40% on Ganondorf. Like, Ganondorf, that window, it's got to be late. <laughs> and wow, Rom just, he, he's in his head. He got right. it. Yeah, yeah, but Crazy Shroom, Crazy Shroom needs one grab. One grab. One more? Yeah, one more, one more. Sure. Uh, some pummels, yes. Oh, oh never mind. He, he didn't need even it. need to pummel. And um, yeah, Donkey Kong counter pick working out so far. Undergone going for the roll read and then Crazy Room was like, okay, he missed the read, what's he gonna do next? And just stood there for a hot minute mm -hmm. and Rom mm -hmm. just gonna kick him yes. and Ganon's F2. Actually for DK that's not too bad because DK has a very horizontal recovery mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it sends just diagonally down. It's just a terrible angle to get sent away by. I don't know <laughs> about Crazy Room's opinions, uh, sorry, uh, options of God, trying to go back uh, onto stage after being thrown into the air. Nice, oh, gets nice the tech. tech. Yes. 
Yes, Crazy Shroom should be quite Whoa. confident in that. No way. Yes, Yo. that's it. 69% with just a little bit of rage. <laughs> Crazy Shroom gets it. Wow, this, <laughs> this game. This is it game. okay for me to say this matchup is stupid to watch? Like, from every standpoint, just two big characters just hitting each other. One killing earlier than the other. Mm. This is crazy. Just like five hits and then they're both in yeah. kill percent. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, a big uh, strength of Crazy Shroom is that he has a good feeling for the Ding Dong and when he kills. Yeah, like I he noticed that a lot. Yes. Smash 4 as uh -huh. uh, yes, exactly. After some time. Yes. And in Switzerland, because, because of, especially when he started, people didn't know the matchup, right? <laughs> anyway, back to the match. We're gonna see Cloud again here on Battlefield. Maybe Rom even thought about that and thought like Battlefield is Cloud's greatest stage and he's more confident against the Cloud than against the EK. Mm -hmm. And he just wanted to basically bait out the Cloud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he wanted to bait out the Cloud. I think Crazy Shroom actually wanted to get uh, on the stage. Okay. So he just didn't ban it. And then, because it's, uh, as far as I know, Battlefield is one of the best stages of Gandorf, if not the best. Yeah, because you live so long and that he can too. cover the platform with up smash. Mm -hmm. He has really good platform movement, I feel like, on the stage. Oh, yeah, it's also one of um, Cloud's best stages, and Cloud catches the, um, like, the dropping aerial, trying to get safety off stage to recover with up B with the side B. Ooh, he misses it. Oh, Rom gets down there, but still makes it back because he's at so such low percent. Clouds, uh, Ganon's recovery not to be underrated because vertically he gets very high, horizontally not so much. But yeah, that's a big lead now for Crazy Room. Uh, Ganondorf at 87% already. Crazy Room only on the brink of maybe yes. right now losing right. his first stock. Nope, nice. Gets really limit charge like and recovers high. Great awareness. I really like that recovery by Crazy Shroom, uh, not taking any risks. Another back air. Is that it? I think, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's he knows. It. Rom knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's a two stock. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, the matchup is regarded as a very difficult one for Gendorf, I feel like you cannot discredit um, Crazy Shroom with his achievements here. Yeah, sure. I mean, you uh, lose game one and you then you dare yeah. to go back to Cloud. It just means the chances are very low that if uh, if Cloud doesn't mess up, you're just dead as Gendorf. But when Cloud messes up and it's Gendorf, you can just punish that so hard. You can edge guard Cloud really well. Um, so there's definitely a chance for Rom. Definitely. All right, dash attack into back air, tech chase, really nice, really nice. Okay, goes for the up air, trying to juggle, uh, to trying to keep Crazy Shroom in the air. People shouting SDI, but you cannot SDI the side B of uh, Cloud. Capro just giving him knowledge. Yeah, but you can DI up and in, and then you can jump out in certain occasions. Gets another combo, oh, and right. being comboed is one thing, but Ganondorf just can't get down. He really, really can't. Oh, but he does now with the back air. Crazy Room going for a risky down air, mm -hmm. but doesn't get punished. Oh, finishing touch, and he Yo, trades. That was so hyped to look at. <laughs> yeah, like the game just stood yeah. still for two yeah. seconds. All right. Ooh, oh, all right. Going for an arrow treat. Gandalf having lots of trouble coming back. Crazy Room trying to kill him with the up smashes instead of trying to keep him in the air definitely a sign is that it no Rom messes, messes up, up that if you're main in Ganondorf you gotta get this stuck oh not optimal DI on the dash attack but Rom's still living goes for the roll Ooh, that was so close. F throw Grace room no limit off stage tries to read the air dodge but doesn't get it oh, right. great move mm -hmm. by crazy shroom all right and this first stock right now means so yes, much. But I feel like uh, Crazy Shroom does not want to lose limit right now. He wants to keep it. He'll try to mm. get Gandorf with another Was move. that a shield poke? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Crazy Shroom just goes for it. Yeah, like it's worth it if you're in such a disadvantage and you can get the stock. And right now every hit on Ganondorf hurts. 44%. But he gets the forward there, 44%, that's actually not too bad on Ganondorf. Mm -hmm. I really like the auto-cancel windows of Ganondorf moves uh, and their low lag at times. Not for every move, of course, but some just are just really quick and strong. That's really funny to look at. But yeah, it really seems like right now Crazy Stream has kind of figured out what Rom can do. Because at the end of the day, there's only so much Ganondorf can do. No matter how good the player is. All right. Like, if you only have those five options, mm -hmm. 
What are you gonna do? And yeah, Crazy Room, great ledge trap, just throwing him off again and again. Oh, all right, all right. I wanted to Ooh. say ledge trapping is one of the greatest strengths of Crazy Shroom, but I feel like there he's losing a bit of patience. Uh, you can definitely feel like uh, it's also justified in a sense that Ganondorf is a very scary character. All right, lands with the down air. Okay, goes for the limit. Uh, Plate beam. Is that it? No, it's not. Just right. go for an air. Very right. safe oh. option. But gets the back air, and that's All it. Right. Crazy Room mm -hmm. overcomes the Ganondorf mm -hmm. after losing game yeah. one. Yeah. Good stuff to Crazy Shroom. Good stuff. Uh, also, good stuff to Rom. Winning game one, I think. Yes. Yes. Winning game With one. With a JV2 stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. That was crazy. His Ganondorf is definitely fun to watch. <laughs> so, I think we are going into a break now. Oh, Deer is here. Nice. That's literally what he says on his Twitch chat, but I guess that's the deer from Greece. Fuck is wrong. Uh, well, I'm not gonna swear on stream, so uh, I'm not gonna read that. Fuck. Thank you, Agrofox. The fuck is room doing is what is what deer said. Anyways, um, as I said, I think we are hope we are finished with pools now. Just uh, getting the last matches in, getting the results in. And um, after that, what, what happens after that? Uh, Pizzerinos. Pizzerinos, and then bracket? Top 24. And okay. after top 24? Top 32. You get to see no, top 24. Top 32. I, I don't and was it changed? 16 pools. Yeah. Two players get out of pools. Then it's top 32, yeah. But uh, it's just labeled top 24 in the schedule. I think it's labeled play up to top 24. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, we're having a break now. See you later. Stay tuned. Are we finished? I guess so. All right. See you later, guys. Agrofox and Kepler out. Yeah, and maybe you'll...